Previously on Nasbacker. All of this used to be the fourth biggest inland sea in the world. That's very sad. I don't have anywhere to sleep and I'm not sure I can go to the next city. They're proposing to me actually to sleep in their house. How do I look? Like a Shrek. <laughs> Bye. I'll get a taxi to go to Termez. Uh, oh, toilet. Toilet break. <laughs> it's a long drop. Okay, one second. I'm shooting this outside because. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, we're heading to Termez in the border with Afghanistan, really the border. And apparently, over there, there's a lot of Buddhist uh, ruins. We're going to go check it out, see how is the vibe over there. Now, I need to go back there because I really need to be. All right, see you guys. And here we go for a two and a half hour ride towards the border with Afghanistan. The taxi driver is an absolute fan of football. So now he's gonna tell us every winner of the World Cup since the, the first World Cup ever. Uruguay. Italy. Italy. Uruguay. 58. Brazil, 62, uh, Brazil, 66, England, 17, Brazil, German, 28, French, 22, I think, France, very French. Yes. Uh, <laughs> if you made any mistake, just write it in the comment below. I gotta say that I couldn't help to have a little bit of apprehension to get so close to the Afghan border. But I quickly came to realize that this region is as normal as the other ones in Uzbekistan. We reached the city of Termez and we're streets away from Afghanistan. Some streets, I'm looking at the GPS, we're like 300 meters or 500 meters sometimes. This looks like a completely normal city as, if, as you would have anywhere else in Uzbekistan. Or very modern, lots of restaurants. With my first impressions of the area being reassuring, it's now time for me to look for a place to sleep. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nassim? Nassim, yeah. What's your Uzbek name? Yeah, <laughs> they, they all tell me they think I'm uh, Uzbek or yes. Tajik. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now I'm the only tourist now? Only you. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Only for me. So I can jump from one bed to the other bed and to the other really really cool i was talking to the mom as well about how did they live the situation around with afghanistan just here and the event that happened with the taliban and uh, this summer they were hearing airstrikes from the afghan army and the u.s army every night every day then it suddenly stopped the uzbek army secured everything if nobody tells you that you were 300 meters away from afghanistan a country at war you would not even know it <laughs> I was about to leave and I just realized she made me breakfast. Wow. This is a five star hotel. <laughs> She's gonna bring me fresh lemon from the garden. I can see it from here. Big garden, huh? Oh, nice. Fresh lemon. Every morning you take here, huh? Yes. Wow. Every day. Orange. You quoi? Francois quoi? Oh, wow. I'm just gonna cancel my visit of Termez. I'm gonna stay here in the guest house because this is amazing. So every time I was trying to leave the guest house to go and visit the city, my host was coming with something new and very tasty to offer. Why am I even still surprised? I mean, this is the Uzbek legendary hospitality that I experienced over and over during all this trip. So good, I think I'm gonna research it and now start cooking it at home. Handmade. 
My host was so nice and welcoming that I decided to let her express it to you in her own words. Hello, welcome to Dermes. Welcome to my guest house. Я буду рада. Приходите гости. Мы будем вас ждать. Bye bye. <laughs> Good. Now we're gonna be with Siraj the whole day, and he's gonna show me around uh, all the beautiful places that you have here in Dermes. Check this out. The guy has a camera. Front camera, but wow! Oh, you can. Very nice. I was asking him why there's so many Chevrolets in here. There's nothing else, you know, it's kind of like a monopoly. The answer is they have factories over here. But then we started discussing about the price of how much a car like this would cost. So he bought it four years ago for only $8,000. I, I don't think a brand new Chevrolet any, anywhere else in the world would be, be that cheap. This guy here is opening the door for us for some secret rooms to actually go and see this, this uh, this uh, site, it's a stupa, a Buddhist stupa, a very old one. Changes a lot from all the other sites that you can see here in Uzbekistan, like in Samarkand or Bukhara, which is all like Islamic arts or Zoroastrian. Now we're getting the secret room inside the stupa. Oh, oh wow. Ah, yeah. You can still see a little bit of gold. Buddha. Um, seven times. I've seen this in Kathmandu, Nepal. But this is obviously a much, much uh, older site. Dates from the first century before Christ. The part surrounding the, the structure is more of a reconstitution. This monastery was apparently called home by over 200 monks. It's always fascinating to see how when you walk in these very ancient sites, uh, you can just imagine like they used to be very lively things happening, you know, it had the same impression when I was walking in Egypt, you walk in some areas and they tell you here used to be a big market. You start wondering if this is going to be the same case two, three thousand years from now. They're going to go to New York, they're going to go to some of the big cities in the world. Realize that uh, it's nothing, just sand, you know, and that used to be Times Square, for instance. Ah, this is the bedroom. Okay. Oh yeah, here. Yeah. Used to have fire in here, inside this area, and then we used to have prayers and ceremonies. Uh, I'm seeing the border with Afghanistan, uh, it's just right here. You can see it in here. It's like maybe 100 meters, it's just right here. And here, just uh, maybe less than 100 kilometers away, you have one of the biggest cities of Afghanistan, which is called mazar e sharif the second site we visited was even more in ruins than the first one, so you had to let your imagination flow. Ah, the stairs. Not so long ago, they were hearing... Look. Suddenly, my guide interrupted me to give me this. This is what I want to say. So not so long ago, they were hearing uh, gunshots every day, and these are still bullets. So we kept focusing in the visit of this beautiful monastery, making sure to visit every part and even exploring the underground. So we're here exploring the inside of the uh, of the monastery. Incredible. Until we got so close to Afghanistan that we couldn't ignore anymore the proximity of the border. What you're seeing behind me, this fence, this is Afghanistan, the graveyard of empires. One of the only countries that were never fully conquered in the history of humankind, where unfortunately right now it's not so stable. They've been hearing a lot of gunfights for the past month. These are some of the bullets that were remaining that you see here. A few bullets, you can find them, you just walk. It's still a very tense situation. We hope peace and prosperity for the people of Afghanistan. And if there are Afghan people watching this video, maybe comment below which are the, the most beautiful sites to visit in Afghanistan. And hopefully one day I can come and also make a video about you guys. Another one. I'm not gonna film because it's getting uh, very, very close. We are maybe like uh, now 30 meters away. Don't wanna be in problems. It's just right here in the back. By exploring a little bit more, we ended up also finding some other very interesting objects that were laying out there in the ground. Look at these, these are our original uh, ceramic from the Buddhist time. They could be in a museum and they're just sitting right here. They're quite ancient. So we just lived here on the sides. I asked them why is it not a museum and it says that basically they already have too many of them. By the way, the, the way they say too many in here is quite scary in Uzbekistan, but that's the way of doing it. Either they do like this in their forehead or sometimes like this. So I was wondering, like, what are they talking about? Like, this in Uzbekistan means a lot, too many. This or this. Interesting, huh? This is the mausoleum of Amir al Termizi. So it's quite a, a nice place for people here to come and take pictures. So you see them. Assalamu alaikum. Nice to meet you. That was super cool. So the cop just saw me stepping out of the uh, 
of the mausoleum and he's like hey sorry can i take a picture with you so then we started having a conversation and uh, he explained to me a little bit how important this site is, is for them it was very happy uh, to, see, uh, to see some tourists as well visiting it's a beautiful place and one one very important thing very very important thing that the cop did is that he went to instagram and then he uh, followed me and he went to youtube and he subscribed to the channel you can follow me like him that's the right thing to do even cops follow me so if cops do it you guys can do it yalla do it do it click 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 ah, there you go very beautiful side that we in here uh it's not only a mausoleum but you also have basically a whole park a lot of locals in here but yeah it's a it's a very 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 beautiful place that you see in here so, <laughs> so how they are all coming here so on the yeah just to, to hang out and be with the family and friends Salam. so they're asking me to take a picture for them yeah for us hey can i ask you we wait for them okay three two one yay all right i don't think they're used to the concept of cheese so they just take a picture like this they don't say cheese or anything the rest of the site contains tombs and mausoleums dedicated to other saints where the locals come to pray for their souls whether it's inside a beautiful building or even within a sacred cave <laughs> The rest of the day was spent to visit a series of historical sites going from ruins to fortresses to universities all the way to mausoleums. Assalamu alaikum. You have the dill in here or plov, hosh. Oh yeah, they just cooked in here. They're collecting all the dill. They really love that thing. It's everywhere in, it was in Kyrgyzstan, everywhere in Tajikistan and even in here. Uzun, Mirs, Moskva. Ah, export to Moskova. Ah, okay. So she's telling me that they are cutting this, you see in here. And they're washing it, and then it's uh, directly exported to uh, Russia. Very interesting, beautiful. I had really insisted to stop in this field when I saw it in the side of the road, precisely because this herb is omnipresent in the dishes of Central Asia. All right, now the final visit of the day, just before I take my long train back to the capital Tashkent, is to visit the archeology span museum of Termez. But before that, we had to take a proper lunch with Sirajuddin, including round one, and of course, round two. Just got out of the museum. Um, it was a nice one. Some of the artifacts that, was, that were from these sites. So they will be now in here. It's time to say bye to Sirajuddin. Bye bye. Hermes, bye bye. Hermes, bye bye. Hermes, bye bye. I just exited this store. I wanted to buy water, but it's difficult. I asked for water. She said, ah, Fanta, Coca, any drinks, but no water. They're not really uh, into water in here in Uzbekistan. You see it. If you get invited to people's houses, you ask for water, usually they bring you chai. I think that's that's a Central Asian thing where everybody is uh, really welcoming you. And as well, you know, the climate is uh, cold. The chai is always welcomed, you know, to warm your body and your heart. But now I need water. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. Okay, and here we have Reklama, commercial for uh, boxing. Boxing is the main sport here in Uzbekistan and they're top of the world, you know, with uh, Cuba. So they have this big rivalry with Cuba every time in the Olympic Games. So Cuban boxers and uh, Uzbek boxers. Don't mess with Uzbek people, yeah? Because uh, you never know if the guy has uh, experienced boxing, yeah? And this is how I conclude this episode about the beautiful, green and calm city of Termez that lies right at the border with Afghanistan, a country I hope I have the chance to visit one day. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> <Maybe>. <laughs>